Good evening and welcome back. So today we are at home to Anderlecht in the Champions League. Now this is the fourth game of the group stage, I believe, and we're currently joint top with Milan on seven points, with Anderlecht on three. So a win here today, I'm pretty sure guarantees us a route into the knockout stages. And if you watch the last match, we had a, a brilliant win in the league against Real Madrid at home, 3-1. We were dominant as well. They did get a goal right towards the end, but magnificent performance. And we're now about five points clear in the league as well. And at home in the Champions League, been looking forward to these nights with this team. You can see Vertonghen there. Let's hope we can get the three points. I mean, a draw wouldn't be the worst result, but we do want to try and get that top spot. Um, and obviously, we had that draw with Milan, and we've been neck and neck with them the whole way. Still got them to play again. He's back with an early chance. Try from distance, why not? He doesn't score many backer, but uh but he hasn't scored any this season. So far. Yes, Kusan too has been absolutely brilliant uh, this season, especially. A nice play by Mudrik. Back uh, oh, lovely goal from the standing captain today, Perez. Lovely header. It's worked down the left. Hudrick plays a nice ball down the line, but this is all about the pass in that danger zone. And Perez just gets ahead of his marker. Lovely header. Well, off to a quick start, and from across, which we don't score too many, really. Um, here's Mudrick again. Yeah, we've got the uh, got Debussy starting on the right, in place of Emerson. Here's Backer again. Oof. And Heli finds its way to to Perez again. He's getting really getting in the box from that right wing. Oh, Nelly got intercepted there. Great tackle from Debushi. Nice little ball down the line for Perez. Ooh, gets a bit of luck. Kusan's trying to fire it in. Of course, those shots often get blocked. Just the uh, the way of the game. If you watch my previous videos, I've mentioned that many times. The the blocks by the computer, especially. Um, very overpowered just a shame it does stop you getting from quite a few shots on goal but good start you can see there 64% possession but we are cutting them apart through the wing positions especially the likes of Baka and Debushi getting forward to support. Ah. Nice play there. Perez does just about get it to Xerxes. And now Mudrick on the counter here. Oh, a lovely little lob over the keeper. Brilliant finish.
It's all about the counter attack here. Kusans with a, a lovely ball through to Mudrik. But it's all about what you're going to do here. And he waits for the keeper to come out and lobs it over him. Right in the corner. Yeah, nice pass down the line. It's all about this finish though. I love scoring lobs because it's not very often that I do, um, or if I try them, that they are successful. Normally it goes straight at straight the keeper. It's very easy to over hit them or under hit them. <coughs> Excuse me. Couldn't quite get there. Nice tackle there though. And now Herrera brings it away. It's a poor ball though. <clears throat> offside, I'd rather have played on, but I know you can't with offsides really. Yeah, and Omaragic and Ogbonna in defence today. Our regular starters are getting a bit of a breather. Oh, over from Xerxes. Should have hit the target. It's nice work, nice work from Perez. Sexy hasn't had uh, too much involvement in the game, really, so far. It's all been down the channels. Well, it was a good attack from Omaragic, but it sneaks its way through. Good block there. Now Herrera, can he make a better pass this time? He does. Now Perez. Lee Kang in, haven't seen much of him. Lee Kang in, ah, straight at the keeper. Nice run. Here he is again. That's going to be a foul, is it? Well, he got absolutely shoved off the ball, so I don't know how it's not a foul. Oh, a lovely finish from Xerxes. It was all about the teamwork there. Lee Kang in with the assist. Lee Kang in works it out wide to Debushi, then to Perez, back into Lee Kang in. And this little pass, I don't know how Xerxes got it ahead of the defender, but he did. Left foot of finish. And right before half time, it's going to be 3 0. We'll jump back into the second half. Pretty much a perfect half, I would say. Um, I think we had 53% possession. And again, I've said it before, possession doesn't really mean anything in itself. Pass. But Herrera wins it back. Now Baka, who's been pretty good in this game so far. Obviously he got that assist early on. It's a bit of space here for them though. Nice tackle from Debushi. Yeah, the win backs have been really good in this game. 
Um, oh, that's a poor pass to Perez, but he somehow wins it back. Perez. Oh, that's wide. Nice effort, though. Modric into ZXC. Nice turn. Oh, good block. I think this is our first corner of the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Ah, over. Good chance there. <clears throat> I am trying those set piece strategies because th there is actually an achievement. Um, to score using them three times or something. I, I can't believe I haven't done that three times already. So I don't know if it's not counting sometimes. Let's see. It's see. a foul, isn't it? No. <clears throat> Whoops. Xerxes in here. Uh, somehow the defender gets back and blocks it. Should have scored. Maybe hesitated a little bit. Sixty again, and again it gets fouled. Jesus, what is going on here? Finally a free kick. We're going to make some subs now. Okay, so what we're going to do is switch Lee Kang in out to the right. We're going to bring on Gedson for Carlos Perez. Slot me in that attack midfielder role, but change him to a centre mid. Mudrick's going to come off for Bellarabi, and we are going to bring on Ruben Castro for Zixi. It's nice to be able to bring the likes of uh, Castro on. When you're already 3 0 up. Now we will try a free kick it's from a bit of longer distance. Oh, the post! Well, we've scored a, a few free kicks recently. Oh, it's just gone out. Almost inch perfect. When I saw it go over the wall in the direction I, I thought it was in. Yeah, Lee Kangin's gone out to the wing position oh he's he's looking a bit tired so you know but you can only make three subs but he can play in that uh that wing position Cousins, and of course it's blocked Bellarabi tackled Castro was just surrounded there. Maybe should have just turned and went for the shot. Castro. Oh, good save there. Nice snapshot. To try and clear it, but we'll just keep coming back. Now back at uh, Cousins. Don't know why I bother because they just block everything. <laughs> Dubushi. Kang In Lee. I keep changing how I say his name. I'm sure it's Kang In Lee, but. Bellarabi. Oh, it's a flex wide. That'd be another corner. That could have gone anywhere. over again. Can't keep those headers down. But it's looking like a very convincing three points and will at least be joint top of the, the group stage of the Champions League here. Oh, nice play to Bellarabi. 4-0. And the youngster regen gets his goal. Castro with the assist. It's a nice play. Started by Bella, Bella Hobby. Nice footwork. Yeah, really nice touch and finish there. Oh, 
but perfectly weighted pass from Castro. He's very good at that. <clears throat> Excuse me today, my throat is feeling a bit, it was felt fine before, but it's feeling a bit, uh, I'm going to get a bad throat, which isn't great. Whoops, that was not good at all there. Got away with it. Here's Cousins. Now Castro. Cousins again. Castro. Oh, very good save there. That was creeping in the corner. Somehow he stuck out a hand and saved it. Let's try something different. didn't work <laughs> just trying different settings I'm gonna go for dash again that's what I normally go for okay so just keeps it in for back at Herrera straight at the keeper that was powerful Really been pressuring them the whole game, and the fact that it's only 4 0, the keeper's pulled off some decent saves. Here's Herrera. Ooh. He sort of got the ball, but got all of the player as well. Good tackle there. Gets in. Probably going to be the last chance. Got shoved off the ball too easily. It wasn't a foul. Good tackle though. Last, one last chance. Ah, the ball's too strong and Lee Kang is out on his feet. And that should be full time. And it is. And yes, we are through to the knockout stages, I believe. Stats wise, as you can see, very convincing. The majority of the possession, 20 shots with 14 being on target. And Zergsy being man of the match. I'm actually a bit surprised by that. I thought it might have been Carlos Perez. They all got 7.5, so totally agree with that. And Ogbonna again, 4.5. For some reason, there's a lot of games where I'm absolutely dominating and no player really makes any mistakes or has a bad game. And one of the defenders always seems to get a 4.5. It's a bit odd. Yeah, very good all round performance. And the subs came on and did a really good job. Bellarabi getting that goal and Castro with the assist. And as you can see, Milan must have won again. So it's all neck and neck still. We've got two matches left, one of them being against Milan. So that's probably going to be the crunch tie to see who actually finishes top. And I don't know why they keep showing as top spot when our goal difference is better and our head to head, we were equal. So I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm sure we should be top there and that's it for today guys we did get a message to say martinelli has now recovered from his injury so he's going to be available for the next match against levante which you can see is in the league and then there's a gap of about 11 days so that'll give us a chance to arrest some of those tired bodies but thank you once again for joining hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll see you next time cheers